What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. We got a big announcement coming here in three days or a little bit less than three days here. I'll give you the information here. Also, U.S. banks are abruptly freezing accounts, halting withdrawals without warning or explanation. I'll give you the details here on that here in this video as well. It's very concerning for a lot of people here. There's a lot going on here with the Fed as well as the Fed has now launched their new Fed Now digital currency where they're controlling trillions and trillions of dollars going directly through the Fed. A lot of people concerned here with that as well. I also want to address here this. I've seen some comments on this, people celebrating the 4% inflation that the government is touting right now. You can see the headlines here. Inflation slows to 4%, but core data lift chances of July rate raise, uh, another interest rate raise coming here. CPI data essentially confirms that Fed did skip the June interest rate raise, but July interest rate coming here in a matter of days. Let's address the 4% interest rate, or I'm sorry, the 4% inflation uh, that we're at now that some people or the government is celebrating here. Let me explain this here. So first of all, the Fed says that we should be at about 2% inflation. That is normal. And that they could continue to raise interest rates until we're at or around 2% inflation. That is what is considered normal. Here's the problem with celebrating 4% inflation. What this means is that we are still seeing price increases. Okay, Prices are still going up over last year. What 4% means is that prices are up by 4% over last year. Last year, when we were seeing those 8 and 9% inflation numbers, that means that we were up 8 to 9% over the year before. So last year, when we seen those massive, massive price increases that were the highest in over 40 years, it was like 42 years, 8 to 9%. Remember, you got your, your COLA. Uh, 8.7% increase, the largest in over 40 years. Now, we're still seeing a 4% increase, a 4% cost of living or a 4% um, inflation number. Prices are still increasing by 4% over that. Over that. So this is not really something to celebrate. This is not really something to say, hey, this is amazing. If inflation was at zero, that would mean that prices have not increased since that. Okay, that would be maybe something to increase uh, to celebrate. Okay, but the problem here is that prices have still gone up by four percent over that massive, massive inflation that we've seen last year, which was the highest in over forty years. In fact, that was the fourth largest. COLA increase, cost of living adjustment for seniors on Social Security ever. That was the fourth largest inflation that we had ever seen ever. Okay. And now it's still up by 4% more year to date than that was. So we're still seeing inflation up year over year over that. And remember, the Fed says that inflation should only be averaging about 2% every year. So it's still really double what it should be. So this is really not, in my opinion, something to celebrate. You can let me know your thoughts on this in the comments, but this, I'm not celebrating this. And I, sh I surely don't think that low and middle income Americans all across the United States Tens of millions, hundreds of millions of Americans are not really celebrating this. We're still seeing food prices all across the United States at or near all-time highs. Rent prices on average uh, in the United States are about $2,000 in the United States. Uh, mortgage prices are at all-time highs at 7% interest rates. And now the Fed here is set to, in about three days, 
raise interest rates here yet again. Uh, yeah, so you can let me know your thoughts here. Is this something to celebrate? I think not. I think not. I would only be saying, okay, we kind of got things under control if inflation was at what the Fed says is average or better than average, which would be 2% inflation or 0% inflation. Because remember, the last year we had the fourth highest inflation, the fourth highest Social Security raise, which is really just set to keep you up with inflation that cola that cost of living adjustment that you know pays you know tens of millions of seniors that cola raise is only there to keep you up with inflation okay we had the fourth highest inflation ever okay now people are celebrating this oh we have four percent inflation that means that inflation is four percent uh higher than it was last year so, yeah, this is where the government gets really, really tricky, and they try to trick people saying, hey, we have 4% higher prices than last year. Uh, yeah, this it just absolutely blows my mind how the government will try to trick you and saying prices are higher than last year by more than double the average norm. Let's celebrate. Yeah. And now the Fed, which is technically separate from the government, they get to make their own decisions. They have a board of presidents, um, the Fed presidents, and technically, like, you know, Congress and the president of the United States, whether, you know, whoever it happens to be at the time, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, don't really get to tell them what to do. They're going to be raising interest rates probably here yet again, at least once or twice this year. And this just only puts more pain on the average everyday American family. This raises your credit card interest rates. This raises mortgage interest rates for people that are going to apply for more homes. This is actually creating a shortage on the market. We are seeing low inventory across the United States like we have never seen before. People don't want to sell their homes and go from a two or three or four percent interest rate to a seven percent interest rate it would cost them probably a thousand dollars more a month in interest so people aren't selling unless they absolutely have to and this is actually driving prices up because there's bidding wars there's like you know a few homes for sale in each little area and the people that actually have to go buy a home or want to go buy a home they're competing for very few homes in the area. So the Fed, although raising interest rates is a tried and true strategy, they've actually done it too much. They've raised interest rates, I think this will be like the 11th time here now in a very short time span. They raised interest rates 10 times in a row, paused once. Now they're probably going to raise interest rates here yet again. And it's just absolutely crushing average everyday Americans. In, uh, credit card interest rates at all-time highs, and people are saying, when do we get a break? When do we get a break? And honestly, it could be a while. Let me know your thoughts here. And now you can see here, U.S. banks are abruptly freezing accounts, halting withdrawals without warning or explanation, we're seeing a lot of problems in the banking sector. And this comes here as the Fed has launched their new currency transfer system, kind of a digital currency from the Fed themselves, which a lot of people are concerned about. Uh, I'll link you to a video. I just did this here, especially because the Fed will be handling trillions of dollars themselves which is a concern because a lot of people are like is this secure why is the fed want to be handling all this money themselves i'll link it to a video i just did this on here and we have a lot of concern about the banking sector themselves headlines like this 
U.S. banks are abruptly freezing accounts, halting withdrawals without warning or explanation. Yeah, a growing number of people say they're abruptly losing access to both their checking and savings account. Reports are saying um, here, the report cites the sudden account closures at Elad Nahore, who received a ominous alert while logging into his bank at Bank of America. He then drove to a branch in West LA where he was told his account had been shut down and access to his life savings was denied. Bank of America told me it was shut down. They refused to give me an explanation. They told me I would get my money after it was resolved. He hoped. All of a sudden, I find out I'm broke, I can't feed my family, and I can't pay any of my expenses. What a nightmare situation that would be. Banks typically shut down accounts over concerns of suspicious behavior. But according to the Bank's Policy Institute, only 4% of suspicious activity submitted by banks to law enforcement results in an actual follow-up. And a small fraction of these follow-ups result in arrests and convictions. Wow. Back in 2014, the number of SARS submitted by banks stood at 830,000. That's a lot. The number of significantly increased in recent years with about 1.4 million reported in 2021. So apparently this happens a lot more than we think. Um, Bank of America, which has $1.4 trillion in assets under management, said it would take up to 20 days to review his account. Quote, it's just another one of those situations where you just, how do you deal with this massive bank, this massive power that you have no control over? I was shocked to find out that this is actually relatively common. When a television crew showed up at the bank to film the report, he said nothing has about the situation has rapidly changed. Although his account remained closed, he was granted permission to transfer his money out and send it somewhere else. Bank of America told the news outlet that an FBI report triggered the shutdown of his account. He said he is the person who submitted the report to the FBI to tell the agency that a scammer had impersonated him via email asking for money from one of his clients. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Please be very careful. There's a lot of scams going on out there. I'll keep you up to date here with a lot of these different stories and updates. If you haven't yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's completely free to do so. Also, thanks so much for liking and sharing these videos. Click here to see how people are getting hacked at Walmart even. Or you can click here to see the Fed's new FedNow digital currency, which has a lot of people concerned. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.